to test the connections between all of the devices as well as the IP address assignments on both switches and both PCs, I'll use the ping command. To do this, I'll click on PCA, click on the command prompt, and I'll begin by pinging switch S1. I will issue the ping 192.168.1.2 command. And you can see from the display that the first ping request timed out. However, I got successful replies for the last three. This response is typical when you're first testing a connection and the reason for which goes beyond the scope of this demonstration. If I arrow up and recall that ping command, you'll see that now all four echo request packets receive a reply. Next, I'll test connectivity between PCA and switch S2 by issuing the ping 192.168.1.3 command. Again, you can see that the first request timed out, the last three were successful, and if I recall the command, I get four successful echo replies. Next, I'm going to test connectivity between PCA and PCB. To do that, I will ping 192.168.1.11, PCB's address, and you can see that I got responses for all four echo requests. It's also a good idea to test connectivity in the reverse direction. To do that, I will click on PCB, click on the command prompt, and I will issue a ping command back to PCA at address 192.168.1.10. And you can see that I get a successful response when I ping from PCB back to PCA. It's always a good idea to test connectivity in both directions when working on a real network because if you can ping from one device to another but not in the reverse direction, it usually indicates that there is an issue with your firewall and by default Windows Firewall will block ICMP echo requests and needs to be turned off.